we've got the UK's first sea bin being installed. It's really cool because not only is it going to help us tackle the issue of marine plastic and marine debris, it can be modified to collect some of the oils and pollutants that are on, this, on the sea surface. The sea bin works quite simply. We have a pump on the bottom and we draw water in from the top and it's filtered out in the middle with the plastics. This sea bin, this is the first commercial sea bin in the world, so it's quite a special sea bin. We created this device because we were sick of swimming and surfing and looking at pollution in the water. There is 8.1 million tonnes of mismanaged waste that enters the oceans every year. That's around a tonne an hour. Estimated at collecting one to one and a half kilos per day per sea bin, and this is over half a tonne a year per sea bin. The importance of having a professional sports team at such a high level like Land Rover BAR is that essentially they're in the spotlight, they're ambassadors, and if they set a good example, then we hope uh, that other people would follow through as well. Um, can we turn it on now, please? The long-term objectives for CBIN is to scale up the technology, scale up the educational programs, and scale up the scientific and research programs. So this is exciting, this is the first, but it would be really cool to see this rolled out at other marinas around the UK. We're always looking for sort of innovative, creative solutions to ocean health and, and sustainability issues. It's a great way to engage young people um, and we've got some great STEM crew lessons around ocean plastics that have been developed with the 1851 Trust that, that we can really help to sort of advance that education and awareness piece too. <laughs>